Hello everyone, Nario here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Xenosaga Episode 2 while not getting killed. Uh, that can be very hard to do at times. Um, if you can look here, um, you'll see that I've beaten the game, that I'm at level 83, that I've played for almost 95 hours. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this game. Um, a lot of people say that the game sucks, and with good reason. Uh, the game does not explain to you how to play the game, um, but today I'm going to do just that. Uh, it took me over two years to realize that this game did not suck, because I beat it twice uh, without knowing what the heck I was doing, uh, because that's what you did in episode one, and that's why I liked it, because, you know, you could just stumble around and still beat it. No, this one, you have to think really hard. So what I'm going to do, oh, that's right, this is a circle, it's a circle game, not X. Um, and what I'm going to do is take you to Sakura's Domain, because that's where a lot of people died at, and with good reason. Uh, Albedo, at the end of Sakura's Winter Domain, was just insanely hard. In fact, I'm going to say that he was the hardest boss fight uh, in the whole storyline. Now, as far as, option, as far as optional bosses goes, that's a different story, but Albedo was the hardest mandatory boss. So I'm going to go there and show, it, show you what I was talking about. Now, first off, there are some things I need to cover. Um, there are a lot of aspects of this game that are not covered at all in tutorials or demonstrations at all. If you look here to my left, or to the left, uh, you'll see Cosmos, Junior, and Momo. Now, to those who played Episode 1, uh, you're probably wondering, what the heck, why Junior, why Momo? I mean, especially Momo, you would think that she sucks. No, in fact, uh, I'm going to say right here and now, Momo is the best character in the whole entire game. Uh, so I'm going to go to status and show you what the heck is up. Alright, look at her strength, 34. It sucks, right? Now look at her ether attack, 90 frickin' 2. Look at everyone else's uh, ether attack, 86, 87, 83, 45, 89, 87. She has the highest ether attack in the whole game. Now let's look at everyone else's strength, 88, 89, 88, 94, 81, and 45. The only one who can compete with Momo is Ziggy. However, his attack is fire-based and cannot um, hurt any enemies in the air. So he's useless. He really is. Uh, he's one of the worst uh, characters in this game, and yet he has the highest strength stat, which is really weird. Um, of course, you're probably wondering how the heck this works in the end. Um, and that's what I'm going to get to next. So let's focus on Momo. She has Ether Attack of 92. So why is that so awesome? Well, if you look here, when you go into tech, you'll see that Robin, Lark, and Sparrow are all Ether based. So when you choose to regularly attack, you are not attacking with physical strength. You are attacking with Ether strength. In that case, she's doing the most damage. Uh, and her attacks are not elemental at all, so um, she won't be like breaking combos or whatever. So, with that said, I'm going to get into a random battle. Well, I guess just an encounter, because they're not exactly random. Might as well be, though, because the traps don't work in this game. Yes, look at that loading time. That loading screen sucks. All right. Now, what the game barely touched upon was stalking and casting ether. Well, there's one skill that they never ever mentioned. It is probably one of the most important skills in the whole entire game. Analyze. I'm not freaking kidding. Analyze usually costs 2 MP, but uh, Momo, she's currently wearing something 
that costs um, double EP per attack, which also doubles her ether attack itself. So she's doing twice as much damage as usual um, with this ether doubler. It's kind of like that one thing that uh, Ellie wears in Xenogears um, with like the gears or whatever. Uh, so analyze. I'm going to use Analyze on this Catharsis. Uh, you all probably used Ziggy or Xion against these and just sucked terribly. I know, I did the same thing. Gosh, her voice is so awful in this game. Funny how the same voice actor did the same voice in 3 and didn't suck. Anyways, if you look here, you'll see that by using Analyze, you'll see that it's weak versus Aether Attacks, and it's also weak against Fire. Well, we know that uh, Momo's attacks are Aether-based, and we also know that Ziggy's are Fire-based. However, we are not ever going to get rid of Cosmos Jr. or Momo, because they are so awesome. So we're not going to switch out to Ziggy. Uh, what we are going to do, however, um, first I'm going to explain the icons on the screen. If you look to the bottom left, you'll see square, 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 triangle, all that good stuff. Um, you all probably just ignored the icons to the right of those and uh, never paid attention to them. Well, if you look here, this is physical. Which means, you know, his attacks are physical based, not ether based. You'll also see that these are aerial, so he can attack uh, enemies that are aired. And it's just a gun, so uh, it's a projectile. He can shoot from anywhere and shoot anywhere. So, what I'm going to do is stalk him up. That's what you want to do in this game just stalk, stalk, stalk. And they're getting two because of some awesome ability I have. That allows me to get two uh, at 50%. They could either get one or they could either get two. Works either way. Okay, so now that everyone is stocked up and I have a boost meter of three, um, what I'm going to do is now cast fire sword on everyone flame sword add fire to non-elemental attacks thankfully cosmos junior and momo do not have elemental um, buffs on their weapons therefore uh, therefore they can always be modified with these swords flame thunder ice and aura Cast Flame Sword on him on him as well. And because she has time to kill, I'm just going to attack once. Look at that. Instantly killed. Holy crap. So what I'm going to do now is cast Flame Sword on her. This is totally unnecessary, by the way, because um, I'll be killing them in like one or two hits anyways. She's going to air uh, that enemy. Now that it's aired, you can just unleash with Momo. Look at that crap. Holy freaking crap. You see that? Yeah. That's why Momo is so awesome. Well, I hope I've explained... Uh, how to play this game and beat this game because that is the only way you will win uh, very easily. Um, it takes time, but I promise you can do it. Have fun!